di Vancouver, non è stato Tony sul Grazie, non è che It's good to see so many of you here uh, at RTP and to be honest it's good to be in Portugal and it's good to be in Lisbon. As you may know the EBU, the European Broadcasting Union that is uh, hosting the Eurovision Song Contest is uh, located in Switzerland and Switzerland is known for two things. On the one hand because of the cheese and on the other hand because of neutrality and I must say that EBU as EBU media director I'm supposed to be neutral as well, but I must admit that last year, last May, when RTP won the Eurovision Song Contest, I must say I was very, very, very happy. I was happy because of several reasons. First of all, because of the song. Amor Dois Pelos is a very beautiful song. And it was the creation of Salvador Sobral and his sister, And I was amazed that at the end, when he gave the press conference, he says, we need to give music back. The music should really come from, from the heart. And I think he gave a very strong implicit and explicit message when he took the stage in, in Kiev and won it, and won the hearts of so many of hundreds of thousands of Europeans who voted for the song. And I think that this beautiful song could only have come from Portuguese soil. Because I must admit that each time when I'm in Portugal and in Lisbon, and even this afternoon when I walk through the streets, I see so many music shops, so many bookshops, I see so many places where they play this wonderful music. And I must admit that last time when I was here, I bought your poets again and I started rereading them. So it's good to be in Lisbon. But it's also very good to be at RTP, because for the first time we're going to be participating for the 50th time next year. But for the first time in 50 years, RTP and Portugal has won the Eurovision Song Contest. And it's so good on behalf of the EBU to be here and to work together with this, with this country. Because it's not only Portugal. What I learned from Portugal is that it is a very proud nation. It's a very proud population. But it's reaching out to the rest of the world. When you see the blue already, you know, in the logo, it's the ocean, it's the sky, it's reaching out, you know, to the entire world. And that's exactly what also the EBU and Eurovision Song Contest wants to do. It's bringing together more than 40 countries, you know, on this music festival. It's reaching out to more than 200 million people, you know, across the world. And it's serious, because on the one hand it's a competition, But on the other hand, you know, all of these cultures mingle and mix, you know, uh, all together and make this a very fantastic and a very great festival. It's quite a challenge to organize the Eurovision Song Contest because it's the biggest entertainment show um, on earth. So it's a huge production and the production actually starts immediately uh, after the, the artist has won the song contest. You know, the day after, we start phoning, you start having, having, having meetings, because it takes a year of planning, you know, to stage this introduction. But I must say that we are ahead of plan, because I feel there is such a strong team, you know, led by the president and his team, who is so eager, so professional to work on the Eurovision Song Contest, and I feel that you really want to welcome these um, people here in uh, Lisbon. Because it's not only 200 million people watching these three fantastic shows, it will be a week where a lot of people from across the world and from Europe will come. I think they will fly in, but I think Lisbon will be the harbor for this uh, fantastic event. I want to thank already all the partners, RTP, and Lisbon and Portugal for the fantastic collaboration we have uh, so far, and I'm sure you will host a great event next year in May in Lisbon. Thank you.